To reconnect your kitchen printer, receipt printer, and label printer, you will have to make sure that your iPad settings are configured correctly. So once you are on the settings page, go onto the Wi-Fi tab and make sure that you're connected to the correct Wi-Fi name. Click the icon button next to the Wi-Fi and make sure that the private address tab is turned off. Afterwards, go to the correct Bindo POS page on settings and make sure that your local network tab is turned on. Onto the iPad POS app, you'll have to go onto the settings page all the way down in the side menu bar. Now, it's time to connect your POS to your receipt printer. Scroll down and click on printer, then click on the three blue dots on the top right hand corner. Now click on search printer and you can find the correct printer by giving it a print test. Once the correct printer has been identified, click on connect brackets dedicated to connect it to your POS. Now you should be able to see the green circle icon on the connected printer. Afterwards, you can try connecting your kitchen printer. Go to the kitchen printer page and click on the blue refresh icon in the bottom. An entire list of your printers is now displayed and you can do a print test yet again. If you already know the correct printer, click on the corresponding three blue dots and select the right department. Next, you can select all the sub-departments in your kitchen department to be printed through the same kitchen printer. Afterwards, click Done, and you'll be able to see the green circular icon. Last but not least, you can connect your label printer to the POS app. On the Settings page, click on the Label Printer tab. You'll be directed to the Label Printer Setup page where it will automatically search for printers. Once you have identified the correct one, Click on its three blue dots icon and click on connect. If properly connected, you should be able to see the green circular icon. Now, you can click on the blue edit icon where you can now select the template for your labels. Click on done, let it load for a bit, and you are now ready to print some labels. Now, click on the inventory tab in the side menu bar and search the item to print. If it has a barcode inputted already, you can print its label by clicking onto the three blue dot icon in the upper right corner and click on the correct printing label option.